hi guys, I'm Kinsey. Nice to meet you if you guys are new here. Anyways, in today's video, I just wanted to sit down, chat, kind of give you guys a life update. There's a lot of things to talk about. Um, drink some coffee and get ready with my day slash show you guys some new products that I've been using and trying out. I really like the makeup look I've been doing today and today is a filming photo day. So, and I'm going to catch tonight for girls night. So, that is what we're going to be doing today. I asked you guys for some questions on my Instagram. My Instagram has never looked as good as it does right now. So if you guys are not following it, at Kenzie Elizabeth on the screen. Also, this is like my favorite mug. Do you guys have a favorite mug? Comment down below if you guys like big mugs or small mugs and where your favorite mug is from. I love this stuff. Mugs are one of those things that like I can never have enough of. It's always a good gift, you know? So I asked you guys for some questions on my Instagram and a majority of them are about the exact same thing. So we'll get to that at the end. Passion Planner just posted with me my podcast episode with the CEO, which is really cool. There's like literally two different things that you guys are asking about. This is my first time ever having a pop socket. Isn't that really crazy? I might even try some new stuff out right now. Who freaking knows? my favorite thing of all summer. I've been really in it to these Too Faced moisturizers and primers, so I'm gonna start off with the Too Faced Hangover Good To Go Skin Perfecting Moisturizer. This stuff is really amazing. It's super lightweight, which I really, really like. I wear this a lot if I'm just like off to like Pilates or something in the morning. Do you guys like, when you're going to the workout or whatever, do you use the products that you like don't wanna like use up for like good things and you just, whatever? I actually really like that one. It's just like one of the only lightweight moisturizers I have, so it's really great. Okay, I don't know where the primer is, but I use the primer all the time. So I'm gonna prime my face with the primer from that line. I really don't wanna have to do that much makeup later. I would rather just like maybe spice it up a little bit, but I don't wanna have to like redo my face or anything for catch tonight. I'm proud of myself for like really going somewhere. You know, I'm such a homebody. Like I'm so happy just like my friends coming over and me cooking, which is like what I do 99% of the time. It's my life's not that exciting. That's why my vlogs are so repetitive. I'm a big homebody. I go through my phases. Morgan texted me and was like, let's go to Catch Girls Night Friday. And I was like, okay, put it in the Google Calendar, you know? I'm just gonna start off with the first one that people keep asking all about. And I know that this is like a very controversial topic on YouTube right now and whatever. Um, oh, by the way, I'm gonna um, put on my favorite a cosmetic CC cream. I have it in the oil-free matte. This is the best stuff. It's like my holy, holy grail product. I actually listened to the podcast. I think it was Rachel Hollis's podcast with the CEO of It Cosmetics and her story is unbelievable. Like, it's so great. I definitely recommend listening to that. I like loved it. It was a great episode. Anyways, everyone keeps asking like thoughts on food combining since you did it, blah, blah, blah. What do you think? Cause there's a lot of like controversy and people going around talking about it. Here's the thing with me, like when I started food combining and I did the 21 day reset, and it was really great. For me personally, it worked really well. I do eat a lot of protein. Okay, here's the thing with the What's That What I Eat In A Day video. I just try to think of like my favorite meals and then I put them all in one video. I mean, it is a pretty accurate representation, but I just like wasn't thinking. I mean, like I didn't have meat in one video and people freaked out. But I do get enough protein, whatever. I don't think I follow it really, really like strictly by any means. The 21 day reset was so good for me. Like I felt so much better, I had so much more energy, my skin looked so much better, like everything was so much better because at the end of the day, it really is just like really clean, whole, like wholesome eating. That's the thing, it's not restricted. Like I actually ate more on the reset than I even do now because I was like more intentional about it. It's really not restrictive and it seems like it's so much more than it is like what it's being made out to be. It's just really slight minor changes in your diet, if that makes any sense. So for me personally, I'm not gonna speak for anyone else. I think eating is such a personal topic that I really don't even wanna like get into. For me personally, it was like really great and I think at the very, very least, like literally bare minimum, I learned like so many healthy recipes and Kenzie like really helped me and it was just really great. Like I had a really great experience with it. I think people are not really like fully aware of what it is. And I also wanna say Kenzie Burke did not come up with this. This has been a thing for a very, very long time. So I feel like she's getting attacked because she like made, like she didn't make this up, you know? Like, I don't know. For me personally, I think it's great. I think however you want to eat is however you guys want to eat. I really don't want to hear hate comments below. I've seen all the videos against it, whatever. Uh, but at the end of the day, like I was just, and I still am just eating like really clean, lots of vegetables, protein. I was way less bloated. That was kind of it. Like it wasn't, I think at the very, it's literally like plant-based eating essentially. But yeah, I don't know. I think it's been made to be this really big thing and I'm not a dietitian, whatever. 
Um, but at the end of the day, like it is just like really clean eating and people have kind of made it some like a little bit bigger of a thing. And I think if you struggle with like, if you personally struggle with like restricting yourself with eating and stuff like that, like that's something for you to take into consideration. If that makes any sense. Okay, I'm literally eight minutes into this recording all the time. But again, like, love everyone. Totally respect everyone's views. I personally had a really good experience with it. I eat, like, majority of what I cook is from the reset guide. And I just feel so much better. And that's it. Seriously, off topic, but what kind of blender do you use? Okay, um, so I really wanted to buy the Ninja Blender. My mom was in town and she was like, Kenzie, why would you spend $500 on a blender? You're 21. It's kind of ridiculous. And I was like, mm, why would you spend blender? So, obviously, I didn't do that because my mom said so. Um, I got... This, I think it's like the, mat. no, I have the magic. I don't know, it's only like $100. I can have it linked down below too. I'm gonna have all these products as well. By the way, I'm just setting with the Kat Von D translucent powder. Um, it's a good blender and it's not the Nutribullet so it's not like $500. But like, I still want the Nutribullet and also I think like if I'm gonna invest in anything in my kitchen, it's probably gonna be the Nutribullet just because I love making smoothies and it's amazing, so yeah. I'm new, what exactly are you going to school for and where at? So, I guess I'll answer this just because it's, we're on summer break, I'm gonna brush up my brows. And I feel like a lot of people don't know. I already did this, didn't I? Yep, I did. Um, some people just don't know. So, um, I go to Zoe Leadership College. Zoe is a church in Los Angeles. It's the best of YouTube channel and everything. If you guys, you guys should go watch our In My Feelings series that I passed it. There's like four of them. They're li it's literally my favorite series we've ever gone through. It's so good. It doesn't even matter what you believe. Like it's just basically about like emotional health essentially. And like regardless of even what you believe, like you'll get something out of it. If you guys like podcasts or anything like that too, we have our podcasts, like listen to them. They're so good. Yeah, so I go to Zoe Leadership College. So it's accredited through Southeastern University in Lakeland, Florida. So when I graduate, I'm gonna get a bachelor's in business administration which i graduate next year which is very exciting by the way i'm using the cheek leaders palette this is the best thing ever hula bronzer i bought all new brushes and i still haven't called amazon to tell them they delivered it wrong it's so bad it's basically like a church internship with college so when i finish i will have my bachelor's in business administration best decision of my life i've also like made a lot of videos about it i made an entire video if you guys are like more interested in any of that there's so many southeastern extension sites too so if you guys like don't move to la and you're like are interested in something like look it up because i guarantee there's probably one near you or like not too far they're everywhere like i think it's such an amazing school i think it really equips you for so much and i think whatever it's like the best thing ever so yeah i'm like excited to be graduating but I'm kind of like sad to be like leaving my program. I would always joke with my directors before that like I'm never graduating because I never want to leave. Um, but like, I, you know, I, I can leave. So yeah, I go to ZLC. It's the best. Check them out if you guys are interested. My legs are killing me. Okay, the things I do for you guys, you know? This blush is my Holy Grail product. It's the Marc Jacobs Kink and Kisses blush. That's literally the shade. Um, but it's like such a pretty, pretty blush. It's my favorite one I've ever used. Okay, I'm sitting on pillows now, so if it looks a little different, I'm so sorry, but I couldn't deal with that anymore. How was Zoe conference? If you guys don't know, my church has a conference every year. Um, it's the best thing in the world. If you guys are having me in LA, August 6th through 8th next year, come. It's the best thing ever. Um, it was so good. It was literally so good. Biggest blessing of 2019 and biggest lesson of 2019. Oh shoot, blessing by far the relationships in my life. Oh, biggest lesson of 2019. Now I can think of this. Um, while I do that, I'm gonna apply my highlighter from the Cheek Leaders palette. It's the Tickle highlighter. This is by far my favorite highlighter as well. Biggest lesson. Okay, I'll give you a lesson because that puts a lot of pressure on me. Like, isn't this such a good highlighter? Taylor gave me this palette and she was wearing this the whole time we were in San Diego and I was like, that's amazing. And then we got back to her apartment and she's like, oh, I have another one. She gave it to me and I was like, <laughs> I love you. I'm so sorry, this is taking me so long. Biggest lesson slash like my heart right now in my life where I'm at. There's a song, I Don't Wanna Go by Chris. I don't know how to say the last name, I'm so sorry. But it's basically like, I don't want, it's like a worship song. It's like, I don't wanna go if you're not there, whatever. Apply that to anything, like I, if it's, basically if it's not for me, I don't want it, even if I want it, but it, if it's in the grand scheme of things, not for me, I don't want it. Even if like I really, really want it, but it's not for me, I don't want it, long term, it's better. So that is that. On to what literally everyone is asking me about, like actually every single person on the thing, which I should have known. Um, using this. I'm like completely out of this product. Hourglass, I love you. I've bought 17,000 of these and I will literally do anything for you. Um, let me just, let me just quickly read them to you guys so you guys can 
can all do this together. Oh, favorite workout besides hot Pilates? Spin or boxing, for sure. Do you guys want more fitness videos? And if you do, like, what videos do you guys want to see? I'm honestly just kind of like, I don't know what I need to film. And within the next few weeks, I need to be filming a ton. So let me know. Oh, favorite Casey Musgrave song? Okay, I think, um, Keep It To Yourself. That's my OG. Boyfriend, how you got together? Tell us how you met Quentin. Would you ever do a boyfriend tag? Probably not. How did Quentin happen? How did you guys move from friends to not? Are you dating someone from Zoe specifically? LOL. Are you dating Quentin? Talk more about the Enneagram thing. I am in type three wing two. If you guys are taking the Enneagram test, love me know down below. How long have you and Quentin been dating? Need all the deets, sis. Quentin, 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 Q, Q. All of them, literally all of them. I literally get so awkward talking about this on camera. I don't know why. I just have like, okay, here's the thing. In December, I went through like a really, really hard life situation and I feel like ever since then I've been way more closed off like not even just online but in my personal life like it's harder for me to open up to people it's harder for me to like talk about things using the damn girl mascara by Too Faced so just in general I think that that like I feel like even on my YouTube channel I feel like I'm not fully present even when I'm present like I'm not as good at vlogging I feel like I'm not as good at anything and I'm like not crying but I like feel like I'm like whatever uh, like not as good at anything and I feel like I'm not connecting with you guys as much because I haven't been as vulnerable and as honest and open and like I want to be It's just so hard for me now when it wasn't before this is definitely the most like traumatic thing But I've been through a lot. So it's just like kind of ridiculous. Anyway, so long story short I think that's why I'm like super awkward on camera now because I just as a whole am like way more closed off than I used to be um, Yes, I am dating Quentin as you guys have seen the Facebook group you guys are FBI agents. You guys all figured it out before all of it, before I was like on Instagram or anything. Um, if you guys are not part of the Facebook group, you guys need to be. I'm constantly in there talking to you guys. And like, I help you guys a lot with like random things too. Like if someone is like, how do I pitch this to a brand or whatever? Like I do a lot of that stuff just cause I think it's fun. Like I would help you guys. Um, but also just like life and whatever. But I posted an Instagram photo if you guys don't follow me on Instagram. And I know it was an in feed post. If you guys made it to this part of the video, comment down below in feed. But, um, which if you guys listen to my podcast, I like so much podcast, which will be linked down below. You guys know like an in feed post is like very out of character for me. Um, and I don't really mean it's like out of character. I think with me, it's like I only, I'm very picky and selective with who I date. That does not mean that I have always made good decisions. I actually have not at all. It like takes a lot for me to actually get there is more so what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I posted on Instagram because well, one, the Facebook group had already figured it out. You guys, he's been on my podcast like when we were just friends. And like we've known each other for like a year and a half. Yeah, because he's went to ZLC. He's done. And we've been friends, whatever. He was on the podcast in like April. Yeah, I don't know. Like a lot of people have been commenting, whatever. What I'm getting at is like, I don't know what I'm going to do as far as like putting him in videos or like not. Because I don't know. Like it has nothing to do with him. It's just like I'm weird about things. And also, I don't know how to say this. Like I don't even really know what I'm saying. I feel like I'm overcomplicating it. Let me know what you guys think down below. But it's harder for me because my schedule is so my schedule um, and I can do whatever and like I can always work with people and people are always over. Like we're together a lot slash we're both very involved with Zoe. So like we have like pretty similar schedules and we're even with like what he's about to be doing, like similar schedules. So we're together a lot. So like it's really hard for me because it's really been making me not vlog as much. But like I don't want to be necessarily like a boyfriend tag couple. Like that's not what I want to do at all. Um, and who knows, I say that now, like, who knows what will end up happening, whatever. But he's literally the best person in the entire world. Like, he's so awesome. And you guys will love him. Everyone in my life loves him. Like, my parents love him more than me, probably. So he's really great. Um, as far as, like, videos and stuff, I don't know. If anyone has good advice, let me know down below in the comments. It's just so hard because we're together all the time, so it's, like, harder for me to keep it off. Yeah, I think that we're both also, like, more intentional with dating. Like, we're not, like... I'm not gonna like go date a bunch of like random guys that I like just think are cute kind of thing So yeah, I'm very happy great guy. You guys will love him, but I just don't know What my plan is yeah, is basically what I'm saying But you guys should follow me on Instagram because I will post and stuff and the photos are cute So like you guys should follow me on Instagram the boy the boy Quentin Quincy ew 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 I hate that he loves that like he's the kind of person he's like so adoring and like literally the best but he's like oh yeah Quincy sucks but like behind my back he's like loves it and like lives for it okay talk about red flags that would indicate toxicity in a relationship I think as far as red flags go in real life I, I think it's just really important this is something I live by patterns over potential I naturally see the best in people I'm very like glass half full like love people i think the best of people and i really don't think that they're gonna be bad i think that is one of my best qualities and also one of my worst qualities so i think 
if you're with someone and it's literally like potential he could be here like whatever like no they need to be 10 steps ahead at all times okay i will say this one thing there's a lot of questions specifically about me and quentin i sure eventually will answer them and we'll do stuff for like a podcast or whatever but this was like my biggest thing with quentin because everyone's like when did you know you wanted to date him and whatever this is the biggest difference for me I remember I texted like Dom or someone and, I, and like this sounds really awful and I don't even mean it in an awful way also at the same time I'm gonna go ahead and set my makeup with the Tarte Stay Spray setting spray. Wow, love this. And this sounds awful but like I don't mean it in a really cocky awful way but like he was the first guy who like really challenged me in a long time at least. Like in the, I would say the past like three years of people that we've, I've dated, I felt like I was always dragging them along and that's not like anything bad towards them necessarily like I just made the bad call like I kn knew we were not in the same place does that make sense like also I think that they were just like young and whatever like they're just not in that place totally fine but I did not need to date them does that make sense so it's like I felt like I was dragging every single person along and he was the first guy in like a pretty much at all slash in a long time that had like like I was like oh shoot I have to catch up kind of thing does that make sense so that was like the main difference. There's a bunch of things obviously that like added up and then I was like, okay, yeah. That was like my main thing was like, I was like, oh, I don't, I didn't feel like I was dragging him along. Like I felt like I had to like keep up almost, which is a good thing because you want someone to like challenge you. So that is it. Anyways, um, I'm glad that we had this talk and we're more open. I feel like I used to be way closer with you guys and I am on the Facebook group, but I feel like I'm just not open anymore and I want to be. So what are things you guys want me to open up about and talk about? Because I'm down and I really want to and I just miss our relationship and I miss being open and whatever. And this is like one thing that was just like off for a little bit. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Love you guys so much. I'll have all the products I use linked down below and I'll be posting all the time. Um, subscribe if you guys are new here. Love you and I'll see you soon.